Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to watch the very first episode of Chucky, which is the new series in the Child's Play slash Chucky, whatever the hell you want to call it, franchise. This is a television show as compared to the rest of the franchise, which has all been films. Now, I've watched the trailer. The trailer looks promising. I'm very, very happy that unlike the last several films, the design of the doll looks better. And I say that because if you've seen Curse of Chucky and you've seen Cult of Chucky, then you know that the doll looked like shit. Uh, so that was one of the, the biggest things for me that took me out of the previous two films. Curse of Chucky was better than Seed of Chucky. Most things are better than Seed of Chucky. Now don't get me wrong, I love Bride of Chucky. I love Jennifer Tilly. Who, who doesn't love Jennifer Tilly? Love Jennifer Tilly. And while I do very much so enjoy Bride of Chucky, I 100% think that the shift into full-blown comedy was one of the worst things that this franchise did. Curse of Chucky, I appreciated the fact that it went back to attempting to actually be scary again for the most part. But the thing that hinders Curse of Chucky a lot for me was it being direct to video because it showed. Taking place all within this house, I don't know. The production value on top of the doll was not good. Cult of Chucky. My issues with Cult of Chucky were I don't particularly care for the whole concept of splitting the soul into multiple dolls. I think it kind of demystifies the character a little bit, but as from what I understand, that's not going away. So I, I mean, I can get used to that, whatever. At least the doll looks better. Visually, I thought that Cult of Chucky looked cool, but it looked so drastically different from all of the other films that it, it sticks out to me like a sore thumb. The character of Nika, Nika Pierce, I believe, is is the character's name, uh, played by Fiona Dorif, who is Brad Dorif's daughter, who is the voice of Chucky. Her character is fine. I was not the biggest fan of the retcon that her character basically introduced, because if you guys have seen the original movie, you know that the original movie starts off with Charles Lee Ray getting chased by Detective Norris down uh, the streets of Chicago into the toy store where he's waiting for his partner Eddie Caputo to pick him up and Eddie takes off. The retcon introduced in Cult of Chucky creates a massive plot hole there because it basically just pretends like the opening of that was different. I love that Alex Vincent is going to be back who played Andy Barkley in the first two films and had his cameo appearance in, at the, I wanna say it was like either the end scene or the post credit scene of Curse of Chucky, and then obviously appeared in Cult of Chucky. I'm happy to see him back. I'm happy to see, oh my God, what is her name? The character of Kyle, happy to see her back. My only hopes for this are that it is at least somewhat scary, that it balances the comedy and the horror well, that the doll looks better, and that's really all that I can ask for. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video. So yeah, let's see if I have the emotional endurance and energy to get through this because it has been a very, very long day because I probably watched the trailer for the new Scream movie like 37 million times. And then this week we have Halloween Kills. It's gonna be a great couple of months for slashers, which I'm happy about. So yeah, let's get into it. Episode one, season one of Chucky. Don't be kind. Oh my god, that doll looks so much better. So much better. Let's see what the animatronics look like when the doll starts talking. If I had to make a slight alteration to the doll, the doll's hair is very long, but beggars can't be choosers. Hey, where'd you get this? I have no idea. Must have been my daughter's, I guess. Honestly, I don't remember. You into vintage? No, I'm into retro. Oh, what's the difference? About 10 bucks. <laughs> Little hustler, I like that. Oh. Someone took the butcher knife. Who did that? In fact, we haven't seen this kind of violence here since the Ray family murders in 65. A bloodbath that gave birth to one of the most notorious serial killers in history, Charles Lee Ray. Ooh, we're getting a backstory. We never really got a big backstory for him. You can hear all about it right here, every week. Until next time, fellow detectives. 
This is Devin Evans bringing you Hack and Slash. I mean, the town looks beautiful, so it sucks that apparently everyone's just getting killed left and right. Okay, I have questions. I mean, that's cool, but what the f***? Wow, that doll looks great. Oh, cat, no, you need to run. Chucky better not f*** up the cat. Two heads are better than one, right? Oh, no. That is Devon Sawa from Idle Hands and Final Destination. Glad to see he survived that falling brick, apparently. I was thinking about using his head for the sculpture. What do you think? I don't know. Therapy? I'm really worried for the cat. I really don't want the cat to die. So how's business? That's not what we're talking about. Sure it is. Is he playing two characters? Are they supposed to be twin brothers or something? Because that's 100% him. You're gonna need another extracurricular. Harvard's gonna want three. I thought Harvard was a law school. No, well, you were up in your room playing with dolls? I organized a whole book drive for the homeless. Yeah, because keeping up with Harry Potter is the most pressing issue facing the homeless. Drag him. Andy Warhol once said, just because something's been thrown away, doesn't make it garbage. Wasn't Warhol gay too? We got gay bashing, huh? Would you give it a rest? He's 13 years old, he doesn't know what he is. Let me just tell you something, 13, 14, I know it happens differently for everybody, but me, what year did Cruel Intentions come out? Because Ryan Felipe and Cruel Intentions. Hmm. That was it for me. That was it for me. That thing is so creepy. What is this bitch doing? I don't trust her. Sorry, I, I only have a minute. I'm with my family. I just... Where's the cat? <laughs> oh my... I really need to see you. Can I call you tomorrow? So she's a cheater. She could die first. Actually, you know what? Maybe he cut the brake line. Just take out this whole, this entire car along the way home. Oh no. Why did he do that? All right, he can go too. No more dolls, Jake. Ever. Aww. Poor Jake. That, ugh. So is it like he doesn't just, what is it? Is it something having to do with like the emotional fallout of I'm assuming losing the wife or is it because of the kid is gay? See, now I'm pissed off. I mean, that thing was frightening as shit, but come on. No one ever starts that way. Is that bloody cat fur? Oh, he killed the fucking cat. Okay, this song's kind of a bop, though. Does he like him? Oh, I love it! Hey, what up? I still don't understand where you're so into this house. Must we always have obstacles? Oh, you're selling your stuff now, Jake? I didn't realize it gotten that bad. No. I mean, do you need to borrow any money? Who is this? Is she like the school rich girl? You can vent me. I'm fine. Being financially disadvantaged is nothing to be ashamed of, Jake. Right? I'm not. <laughs> so she's like a polite bitch. Maybe you should give the guy a break. Don't go soft on me, babe. How is he... Okay, I'm the, the dynamics here. He was literally just like dragging him last night for being gay, and now he's like, he's off. Maybe they're both gay. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think I can do this. Do you have a religious conflict? I can't stand the sight of blood. Pussy. We'll Oliver, mind your fucking business. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like her. I hope she doesn't die. <laughs> she is how I feel about most children. Why is the frog still alive? Is that a thing that like high schools do where they, I mean, I know that they make you like dissect frogs. My high school did not make me dissect frogs because I absolutely not, but they did make us dissect, I think it was owl pellets. I mean, I wouldn't have done a frog, but owl shit, I don't know. But this is, I don't, let me know in the comments, or maybe I just need to Google this because that seems really, really strange to me that they would be making students dissect live animals. That is disgusting. <laughs> What did this bitch do? Oliver, let me see that. This bitch. So you're trying to tell me that this teacher will literally tell the student to shut the f up or mind his own business, whatever she said to him, but she's not going to do anything about what just occurred. I mean, I, it's fine in the sense like, you know that Chucky's about to f all of them up. Great, but mm, hell no, hell no. Don't forget your boy toy. Whoop his ass. Just a moment, Lexi. I'd like a word. You can close the door. Flunk the bitch. What I'm doing is admirable. And if you try to stop me or penalize me in any way, my parents will sue the school. Okay, Gretchen Wieners. I don't think my father, the inventor of toaster strudel, would be too pleased to hear about this. Ooh, I hope Chucky f***s her up with a yardstick. Just like Miss Kettlewell. Uh, I was watching Vampire Diaries, actually. I mean, for real? Is it good? Sort of a guilty pleasure. What's it about? Vampires? It's about the uh, unbreakable bond between brothers. But it's also like super hot vampires, right? <laughs> yeah, super hot. Aw, this is so cute. Ooh. Ooh, I hope he f***s her up. Lexi, what's going on? I gotta stop smoking so much weed before class. How, do, how would she have gotten away with saying that? This entitled bitch. Ugh. Hello? Yeah, I'm calling about the doll. Andy! Be very careful with that doll. Have you checked his batteries? What was that about? But, okay, here's my question. So you get an anonymous phone call. Has anything weird happened with, with the doll? Have you checked the batteries? My question is, after that phone call, would the first thing, w would not the first thing you have done would be to check the batteries? Because I'm very confused as to what prompted him to type in good guy doll violence. That seemed a little weird. Oh, that's beautiful. Was it meant for anyone special? Only for you, Lexi. <laughs> I think you're lying. Ugh. See some familiar faces in the crowd tonight. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Oh my God, that's Dad from One Tree Hill. Pack a bag and get out. Or so help me God, I will stab you in your sleep. Love Dad from One Tree Hill. What did you think of Devin? It was good. Just good? Come on, Jake, don't be shy. How are they letting this bitch do this? Hey, Lexi. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I f***ing love Brad Dorf. Okay. Ooh, I hope Chucky reads her to filth. I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Now, I said friend, Jake. Nothing more. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Gay rights. Chucky said gay rights. Hey. 
Look what I found. My phone! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> and look what she keeps Googling. Why do my farts smell so good? <laughs> it's contagious, isn't it? Laughing at people. Well, guess what, dickheads? Now the joke's on you. Fun's over. Let's You're go. all a bunch of fucking assholes. Let's go. I'm out of here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I, oh my god. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. He read them for filth. He dragged them. Snatched the weave. Wigs on the... Oh, that was everything. That was everything. If he wasn't, you know, like a psych psychopathic killer doll, I'd want one. I do want one. It doesn't bother you that everybody thinks you're fucking weird? Huh? You don't care that they think I'm weird. You just care that they know I'm a fag. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me! You see that again, and I will kill you. Oh, f him. Ugh, that just, ugh. I hate that. I hate that. I don't fucking call DCFS. Poor kid. Ugh. Everybody around him is an asshole. Who drank my whiskey? The fuck? <laughs> Chuck is getting lit. Oh my god. Okay, was not expecting him to off the dad that fast, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> he looks wild. Oh my god. <laughs> His face though. <laughs> what? Would they have not have zipped that up prior? So, what are we calling him? Death by Misadventure. Death by Misadventure. I wonder if that's like an actual thing that people log incidents under. What did you mean today? At the talent show, you know, about me having a secret. I, I was just trying to be funny. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mean anything by it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Adulteress. Talk to me. I said talk to me, damn it. All right. I'm gonna make you. Bitch slapped him. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi fucking ho. Now, let's talk about that bitch, Lexi. Hmm. <laughs> <Her up. laughs> so that was episode one of Chucky. I loved that. Some things that I want to point out that I really, really the doll. Let's start with the doll. The doll looked so so much better than the last several times that we have seen that doll. Now, the the doll itself, when it's not actively alive and talking, looks straight, aside from the, the hair being a little bit longer, almost identical to the doll from Child's Play 2. The doll, when he is talking, now, it is not the same quality as the first three films. I do know that um, the guy who did the animatronics for the first three films, I, I believe he left either after Child's Play 3 or Bride of Chucky. So I understand that, you know, it's, it's someone different and it might be a budgetary restraint. I don't know. It didn't look as good, but it still looked significantly better than the last several films. So from the doll standpoint, check. Perfect. The set design was beautiful. I know in the beginning of this, uh, I spoke about the set design from Cult of Chucky. I thought that it looked beautiful, but it looked very, very out of place. It was uh, overly stylized, which I did not like. And Curse of Chucky was uh, a little bit too low budget for my taste. This, this looked perfect. This could have been one of the original films and you, I wouldn't have known the difference. Set design, perfect. The characters. Everybody here, except Jake and the podcast boy. I'm sorry, I cannot remember his name. Everybody else was an asshole. Well, no, the teacher, she was good too. Love the teacher. Everybody else, super big asshole. The actor that is playing Jake was selling it. He was convincing, props off to him. Now the actual storyline of the episode being presented so far, I know that there are probably gonna be people out there that are like, this is too social justice, political. It's not political. 
I representation matters and as a gay man myself watching this episode and and seeing what the character of Jake went through with with the bullying and and troubled home life and issues with friends I relate to that that is maybe not to the the extent say with family life but with with bullying I went through that. I don't know if it's gonna get worse for Jake, but what I dealt with was very bad. So being able to see somebody like myself, it matters. I identified with this character. I feel like the way that they they approached it, they approached it with a sense of realism, which I greatly appreciate. Don Mancini, who is the creator of this franchise, he's written everything, I wanna say since the second film, and he's directed everything since Seed. He is gay. And this franchise as a whole has never shied away from LGBT topics. Um, you know, Glenn slash Glenda, despite the fact that in, in general it comes from quite possibly the worst film in the franchise that tackled, you know, trans issues or gender identity. Um, you know, there's been gay characters within the film. So this is this is nothing new. But the way that they approached it in this episode had a, a sense of grounded realism, which I really, really appreciated. It was tactful. It was tasteful. I loved it. Now, Chucky, let me just say, Chucky reading the shit out of everybody at that talent show, I soared. I shot to the stars. That was amazing. I'm really, really excited to see what the rest of this season brings us. If it keeps up the same quality, give me more seasons. If this, if this is the format that we're gonna get, as long as it maintains this quality, I am all for it. Uh, Brad Dorif was in top form, everything. Everything was great. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments. Ah, I need to go watch this like 70 more times. See you next time.